What is the correct usage of these RV? I hear people use the term vis a all the time in place of what I believe should more correctly be for example or that is. What is the most generally accepted correct and appropriate use of vis a and what are its origins? According to the phrase finder, the term is French and literally meant face to face. When the English picked it up in the 18th century, they started using it to describe a type of horse-drawn carriage wherein there are two seats, allowing occupants to sit across from one another in a face-to-face -face fashion. Usage eventually extended to include the alternate meaning of with regard to, and in modern day discourse it is accepted to use with regard to and vis-a-vis -vis interchangeably. In fact, many people will get confused when you use it to convey its original meaning since the alternate meaning has overshadowed it. As a complement to the other answers, as to the origins, here are the ways the phrase is used in French, which may be helpful to gain a better insight of the various usages in English. In French, vis-à-vis -vis can be used as a preposition, an adverb or a noun. Preposition. Facing, in the presence of. She sat on the other side of the table, vis-à-vis -vis John. Archaic, regional Canada, compared to. He found it shameful to lose his temper vis-à-vis -vis the old man. Relative to, figuratively. Jack swore me to secrecy, even vis-à-vis -vis his daughter. Adverb. To be facing. If the windows are vis-à-vis, -vis, the ventilation is improved. Phrasal adverb, qualifier. Leaning against the door jam vis-à-vis, -vis, dressed in a grass skirt, she. Now. Person facing someone else. By chance, my eyes fell on Edwin, my vis-à-vis. -vis. The opposite facade. The windows had curtains, so there was no vis-à-vis, -vis, only the blank wall. To be facing. She was vis-à-vis -vis her husband, a pretty little thing she was too. To be facing, reflexively. The cafe and the church were vis-à-vis. -vis. Adverb. To move into a facing position. They sat down vis-à-vis, -vis, each in his corner. Rare to be facing, in English this renders no differently to the above. They were seated on chairs, and vis-à-vis -vis the altar. Carriage with two facing seats. I could see myself arriving at midnight, in my odd vis-à-vis, -vis, at the opera gate. Small sofa, where two people can talk conveniently. The two women sat down on the vis-à-vis -vis and nattered endlessly. Adapted from Control.fr Email. These days the expression vis-à-vis -vis is often used in sentences where a comparison is being made. Examples Let's say I am enumerating features of iPhone, but I could then say. The choice for applications is certainly much higher in the iPhone OS, 125,000 vis-à-vis, 20,000 for the Android, example extracted from Internet. Canadian dollar vis-à-vis -vis selected currencies, when talking about exchange rates perhaps. Example title of a research paper as extracted from the internet. Comparative competitive aspects of Japanese use of human resources vis-à-vis -vis United States and Canada. Dash and so forth. It is mostly used to paint a picture of something pitted against or in the face of or as opposed to something else. Hope this helps. When I hear slash see people use it, I usually find they are using it to mean as opposed to. I guess the face-to-face -face metaphor can mean the opposing opinion. Whether or not that is correct usage is slightly arbitrary, just my observation of how people seem to use it. Accepted English usage in the military and in corporate meetings I have personally been a part of are in relation to or concerning. They can be used to refer to a geographic location, opinions, or two or more items. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.